Okay, so here's another video. We're working with uh, Magic the Gathering cards and uh, eventually approaching some kind of simulations uh, on, on, uh, on the probability simulations and stuff. Um, right now we have a deck of cards built from this huge list and I actually forgot something. Uh, we have obviously uh, extended the list here down to 420. So this should be our new range to read data from. Um, in this video, we're going to look at this mana cost thing uh, and process it into a way, uh, format that can be used more easily by the, the scripts we're building. Uh, so looking at this column here, we can see um, stuff, well, the cost of a card. This uh, a card costs four mana of any type, one blue mana and another blue mana, total cost of six. Um, and you can see this data for, for other, uh, other cards. I want to process this and store um, the mana cost in another way in, in our card objects, in our deck here. And uh, I want to store it in a way so I can see, well, access, access the card cost for blue saying two, and the total cost is six, and the uh, cost of any mana is four, or something like that. Uh, I'm going to do this in a particular, uh, well, uh, break this out into a separate function, because it's such a large thing. I don't want to clutter this read card data function with, with all that stuff, so I'm going to create a new function here. I'm going to call it function uh, set card cost and it's going to take it's going to take a parameter input which is a card a card object uh, like this actually let's add this mana to total cost column because we're going to use it as well this is number seven now so let's add it total cost seven Just adding this line here, which means that it will be looped through here in the card creation uh, part of the script. Uh, and it's just added and everything's fine, which is nice. It, that's an extendable way of writing your code, which is uh, a good practice. That is one of the uh, design patterns, I think it's called in, in programming. Things that you learn how, how to, well, make things in a way that it things works better in the long run, kind of best practice you could also call it. Okay, so set card cost for a card. Um, I'm going to create a variable here called uh, card cost data and read it right off from the card. Card dot mana, no, cost as a name for it. It will be called cost. And this will now be a string. We have not used uh, worked with strings before and it will look something like this. And then I'm going to read how many of, well, the ones to, well, how many R's within uh, curly brackets there are and add that number to the uh, cost for, for, uh, for, for this card, for red mana for this card. And how to do this. This is one of the places where I stop to think and see how I want to process this. Let's. I'm going to do this. Um, I'm going to create a um, variable for mapping strings. Curly bracket R, curly bracket. I want to uh, map this against R just for red. Or just why not use red? Let's use red. Mapping equals, and this will be an object. So whenever I encounter R, now I put this within. Uh, quotations, which means, well, this will be the property name I'm looking for, and the value it will be red. Whenever I put um, quotation marks, this is single quotation mark, I could use double quotation marks, but let's not complicate stuff. It means I'm now working with a text string, not a number or, or things like that. So. Uh, I'm looking for a text string of R, 
and I'm gonna, uh, well, I will connect that to something I call red, which is also text string. Let's actually use the same order of things. So white, blue, what's it? White, blue, black. Uh, this is blue. This is black. Black. Red. Good. And then we have. Uh, green, yes. Green. And there is something called X somewhere, which I will call other. I don't really know what that is. And it doesn't really matter now either. So, um, I'm going to create a new variable, new cost equals nothing. Yeah, an empty object. Then, <clears throat> let's see, I'm gonna loop through this thing, look for if I can find white, this should be white. Uh, as, long as, as, as long as I can find this string in the card cost uh, data, I'm gonna add one to the uh, new cost uh, for, for, for the property white in the new cost. Um, let's actually do like this. White, zero, blue, zero, black, zero, green, zero, and other, zero. I forgot the red. Red, zero. Okay. For let's do this C uh, in mapping. Okay, so I'm going to loop through all these, look for white, blue, then curly brackets. If, and now we're going into string manipulation. Uh, we're going to see if uh, the card cost data contains this string. OK, so let's Google JavaScript uh, string contains. String prototype includes. That sounds good. OK, so here's an example. Uh, uh, Let's see, sentence includes word. Okay, that was a really complex example, but if car, uh, cost data, card cost data dot includes C, then do something. And right now I'm just going to do logger dot log card contains uh, uh, cost contains plus C. Okay. So well, let's actually add the card name card dot name. Okay. I'm not going to do any manipulation right now, just reading out if, the, if it contains uh, a certain uh, type of mana cost. Whew. OK, let's try calling this function and see, see if it works. We have now created a deck up here. Let's loop through the deck for in deck uh, set card cost of deck i. This is now the, well, uh, the card we're looking at in the deck. 
Okay, so we will loop through the deck and run this. Let's do a debugger because then we'll stop here. Now we have built the deck. Now we'll loop through it, call, calling this function for every card, and we'll have some uh, debugger uh, data in the log. Go. Bam. Okay, so all these contain white. And I did only have white cards selected. Yeah, let's select a few others. So run, no debug this time. And we can see this contains blue, this contains blue, this contains red, this contains red. Seems like it work, it's working. What we have to do now, what I have to do, is to not only uh, recognize when it contains this, but also how many of it, con it contains and add that cost uh, as a number on the card. Uh, that will be the next video because this video is getting long. See you there, bye.